So over here is a 2-4 chord, and here is a 4-2 chord. Just like here is a 2-4 chord and a 4-2. And as we said, these are all now copied over in interval pair order. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 60, CMNS. Today's episode, we re-entered with a bunch of thoughts about where do ideas come from, when you start to put them on paper, how they keep changing, uh, when you interact with other people. Um, it changes as well. This happens with work and it happens with music. So today we did two things. We took our improvisation two and made an animation out of it. We were seeking to have iridescent colors and this is what we came up with. So that's not exactly what we had in mind. We had in mind shimmering colors running across the screen, kind of like when you see an oil slick on a pond and uh, it's got the rainbow repeated many, many times. So we would have to do some, some, something else for that to work. Nevertheless, it was worth taking a shot. The bulk of our time was spent on, as we just showed you, getting things into interval pair order. So this time, the two four four twos, the three threes, the one five five ones, the one three three ones, etc., etc., etc. So we're going to play this for you, and that'll bring us home. Here we go. So that concludes today's stream. What we like about it is that the, um, as far as we got, it, it's in monotonic rising order. And we have to keep working that over here because all of a sudden it drops down. Boom, like that. So we have that to do. In fact, that is our ideas for next time are to keep working with the arpeggiation variations. Shout out to Guy Dewar who came back today. We appreciate it. Do take care. Do come back to see what happens next. Do keep on streaming. <laughs>